Hi, I'm Miss Susan from the Ulysses Public Library, and this is my assistant, Brandon. And this is Sound Effects Tastic Station Virtual Edition. That is really a hard word. <laughs> it is really hard. Um, and this is actually our last video for some Tastic Station Virtual Edition. Yeah. But we are going to make something super fun today. We are making rock candy. I want some. Uh, wait, where's the candy? <laughs> we still have to make it. Oh! Uh, well, here's the rock candy. Yep, yep, that one's our, our, the one that we made before. Um, so, the things that you're going to need to make rock candy. Let's see, Brandon, what do we need? A, a, a chopstick. A chopstick. String or... You can do a chopstick or you can do string or you can do any kind of like stick. I mean, I wouldn't use a pencil, but you know, like a lollipop stick or candy stick or something like that. Plus you need a clip. Um, and then you need a clip. Um, and or you can you use a chopstick and tie the string onto a chopstick. And then you need a, a jar. Uh. <laughs> or you can use like a really long cup. Um, and then you will need some um, sugar and some water and um, some food coloring, you can, if you want. You can put some some kind of taste test, you can taste it, and then it'll taste like something. <laughs> and Or you can add some flavoring to it. You can put a little bit of vanilla Nut, in it, or, or some something else that you want to put, some, some other kind of flavoring you want to put in it. We put a little bit of vanilla in ours, so it's extra tasty. Um, so let's see here. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your syrup. <laughs> Be careful. Don't put a bit of that. <laughs> and it how you... Heavy. It is very heavy. Um, and how you do that um, is you can do... You... Um, this part, uh, making the syrup, actually needs to be done... Um, by a grown-up or somebody who can use a stove because we are going to you're going to need to boil some water yeah. um, but what you're going to do is you're going to boil about a one cup of water and then once it starts boiling you can add sugar to it but you're going to want to add sugar to it slowly so you will you'll need about two to three cups of sugar for one cup of water um, so you add uh, but I would do it in like a fourth increments at a time. Um, so you should be able to easily do two cups of sugar with one cup of water um, and have no problems with that. Um, but once you get to two cups, from two to th three cups, you kind of need to watch it because you don't actually want to put more um, sugar or you don't want to put too much sugar in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add uh, a little bit at a time, dissolve it completely out, make sure it's all dissolved, yeah. and then when you get to a point where it d doesn't seem like it's dissolving anymore, you need to stop. So somewhere between two to three cups, it's gonna do that. Um, and it just kinda depends on lots of different things. So, um, and if you put too much sugar in it, it, it does mess it up because I've, I've already had to redo it about because of that. Um, yeah, so once you make there your... was too much and then it start doing crystals and then it, we didn't even get to do anything with it. No, we had to throw it out. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so once you make your syrup, um, you're also want to going, you want, want to kind of if you're going to use a chopstick, you kind of want to prepare it. So um, what I read online is you want to go ahead and just to kind of give it something to start growing on, um, get um, a plate um, a sh of sugar and get your stick all wet and then um, roll it in the sugar so you have some sugar already stuck on your stick. And then... Um, let it dry for about 10 minutes before you use it. So ours is our, all ready to go. So we're actually gonna do this. Brandon's going to, um, you with this? yes. Brandon's gonna pour the, our syrup into our jar. Look at all that syrup. 
It smells like that smells weird. Like like toothpaste for elephants. It smells like the elephant toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this it smells like it. sugar to me. <laughs> I think I just smelled it. Smell it. Smell it again. Oh uh, it smells like that too. It smells like it smells like vanilla. <laughs> it smells like a toothpaste. <laughs> our, our video of tooth. Ace for elephants. Uh -huh. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure you have a clip that's big enough or like this one I used a clothespin and this one where I couldn't, this mouth is bigger so I have to find something different. So it needs to be able to be big enough that it'll actually set up on there to hold your stick up. Um, and when you put your stick in you want to make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom so just leave a little bit room so it doesn't touch the bottom. Um, and then you just gotta wait. It takes actually up to, it's usually five to seven days is how long it takes. Um, but, but we have this one that looks like it's almost done. This one we made on a couple of days, well, let's see, three days ago. And so it is, um, oh. It, it has some formations on there. It's not quite done yet, but um, we're going to keep that one. Um, we're going to let that one grow a little bit more. And then, of course, we have this one, and we'll see how long it takes that one to grow. Wait. But we'll show you the progress of this one. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so that is it. That's how you make um, rock candy. So you can just watch it from every day and see how big it's growing. Big it's growing, and then once you get to a certain point, you can take it out and enjoy. Um, so that's all that we have. Go, ahead, you can go ahead and um, stay tuned for the science, and then we'll also have a little some pictures of um, of our rock candy growing. But this one we're not going to do because it's already grown up. No, I, I've been taking pictures of that one. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep taking pictures. All right, let's say bye before you wander off. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and don't worry, bye. this is, even though this is the last video, we will have um, a different program that we're going to start. It's just not going to include Brandon because Brandon's going back to school. Next week. <laughs> um, so um, check that out. It'll start in September. Yeah. Woo! All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so let's talk about the science of rock candy. The first thing we should talk about is super saturation. When you mix water and sugar, you make a solution. By adding heat, you're able to dissolve more sugar into the solution, causing it to become super saturated. As the solution cools down and the temperature goes down, the water is no longer able to hold the extra sugar, causing the sugar to fall out of the solution and start forming crystals. The second thing we should talk about is seed crystals. Remember how we put some sugar on the stick before putting it in the solution? Well, by doing that, you're creating seed crystals, which will give the newly formed crystals something to attach to. The final thing we should, should talk about is evaporation. After the sugar solution finally cools, it's still able to create more crystals. And the reason for that is because water will evaporate over time. As the water evaporates, the ratio of water to sugar changes, causing there to be extra sugar again making it form into even more crystals. Eventually, there'll be enough crystals to make some yummy rock candy.